Hello everyone and welcome to Automotive History through Diecast. Uh, today I got some stuff to look at. I found this at Target. This is the Japan Series Majorette set. And what's cool about it is they are all like what in the custom world we call pencil cars. They all look like they were drawn on with pencil. So we'll open those up, take a look at each of these cars. Uh, I believe there's one or two cars in here that I didn't even know what they were. So it's always cool to learn about new cars. Um, next, we have uh, M2, these new M2s, uh, like dioramas. Me personally, I wish they were a couple bucks cheaper in just the car because I like to open everything. Um, but this I probably won't because it's like a display piece. So we got the 80s Camaro, we got the work in progress Mustang from Legendary Performance. And we got another Mustang, but I got this one because it was Carroll Shelby. Um, I thought that was pretty neat. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but uh, I grabbed them. Finally got my hands on this Team Transport. I've been looking for this one for a while. We're going to open that up. We got the new Impala Lowrider. We're going to open up. And we have this green light. Now I want to talk about this for a little bit. This is what I love about YouTube. Um, this is not a, normally a car I would have grabbed. Uh, but a couple months back, I was on Hewitt, Hewitt Hot Wheels page, YouTube page, and he was going on and on how cool he thought this car was, and it was right up his alley and something he would drive, and just hearing the passion of him talking about it made me want to go out and get one, which to me is cooler than knowing everyone wants a super, so trying to find those. Um, I haven't been in the hobby long, but there has been a lot of negative talk lately in this hobby, and I got it in it for the people. Um, I'm going to collect these cars either way, um, so I just got it in for the people to show what I got, to have people talk about what they have. Um, that's why I don't do hunting videos. To me, hunting videos are useless. I don't need to see what's in your store. It's in the same exact thing as my store. Um, and then on top of it, most of these hunting videos, they, the people never even show what they bought. I want to know what you're collecting, what you brought home, what you felt a connection to, to put in your collection. So that's mostly what my channel's about. All right, I'm going to pause you, open some stuff, and we will be back. All right, so when I think of pencil cars, this is what I think of. I think of, I believe it started with customs. Uh, there were a couple guys out there that were doing um, this type of custom, completely stock looking, completely stock mainline, I guess you'd call it. They don't even replace the wheels. Uh, every detail they want to get out of this, they've done with black and white to um, make it stand out, which is super cool. So when I saw these, I was like, wow, the uh, manufacturers are finally following the customizers. So this one is the Honda Civic. The uh, hood does open. It's in a nice white. That's usually what most pencil cars are in. They're in a white with the black, all the black lines to highlight the, uh, the body lines and everything. So there's the Civic. And then, I believe this one, the door is open, the Mitsubishi. But uh, these are all really nice castings. Did a really good job. Um, and they are all, or at least look like it, right-hand drive. So, according to the die hotline of die-cast, these would all be true JDMs. Here, this is the only one that had a rubber band on. I thought that was kind of strange. Let me get this rubber band off. 
not prepared. Here, I'll put this up. Here's the Supra. And uh, they were all kind of like flat colors. But that's like in a flat red. And then, oh, that's why it completely comes off. That's why. That's strange. I've, it almost seems like it's broken. But yeah, it completely comes off. I don't know if that's like you can do like like that. I don't know. But yeah, it's a little weird that it comp completely comes off. But this is, again, another nice casting. A uh, really good job even for uh, plastic wheels. All right, now this next one, like I said, I've never heard of this one. I hope I'm not screwing it up. C Fiero, C E F I R O. I'll try to find a real one, like a picture off Google, and post what it looks like in real life. And then here is that blown Thunderbird. It is a very cool casting, it's different. Uh, I've talked about it over and over. I like to have stuff in my collection that's different that you would normally not see. Uh, this is the only version of this car I have. And then I think this is the first team transport I've ever bought for the transport. Um, this is a new casting. This is the Chevy Dually 3500. Um, but it's not a Dually. Dually needs to have four tires in the back. Um, but that's okay. We know what it's trying to be. But yeah, this is super cool. And then it comes with the Drag Nova. Um, what's interesting about this Nova is it is what they call an altered wheelbase. So on a real streetcar, these tires would be bulging in the back seat. They basically took the whole rear axle and moved it forward. And they're doing this for leverage. It's like changing the fulcrum, the leverage point, to get the car to lift more to uh, you know, get the weight in the back tires. So that's the one that comes with it. I grabbed this just because I like to show other ones. This is the only other one I have of the casting. And then last but not least, we have the RLC. Um, I have the Monte Carlo. I do not have any of the 64s. This is my first 64. Um, it would have been nicer if it came in acrylic, but the other one, you know, I guess the previous ones didn't. Um, but the paint is amazing on this. The attention to detail is amazing on this. Uh, something I learned the other night watching someone else. These screws in the middle, those are for if this gets loose, you can tighten it back up. Uh, which I found very interesting. So, very nice car, glad to have it in my collection. It's probably gonna make me wanna go and get the other ones. But for right now, I am happy to have this one. All right, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.